Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Jan Kristof Duda and Sergei Karyakin. This is a game from the World Cup 2021. Duda had white pieces and he started with d4. Karyakin played knight to f6, c4, e6, knight to f3, d5, the queen's gambit, knight to c3 and now c5, the Taraj defense. C takes on d5, C takes on d4, Queen takes on d4, E takes on d5, pinning the knight, unpinning. If knight to c6, white may play queen to a4 check, queen to e3 check, or bishop takes on f6. If knight takes a queen, then bishop takes queen on d8, and after check, g takes on f3, King takes bishop, knight takes on d5, white stands better. And let's go back. If knight to c2 check, this is even worse for black. Then king to d2 after knight takes rook, bishop to h4 and white is much better. Back to our game. That is why Karyakin played bishop to e7. e3 castling rook to d1, attacking the queen, queen to a4, bishop to e6, Bishop to b5, queen to b6, white to move. Duda played bishop takes on f6, removing the defender of the pawn on d5. Bishop takes bishop. Knight takes on d5, bishop takes on d5, rook takes on d5, bishop takes on b2. White won the center pawn and lost the b pawn. White to move. Perhaps castling was expected. Instead, king to e2. Is the king safe on e2? It is, according to Duda. He calculated well. Bishop to f6, rook from h to d1, rook from a to c8, bishop to c4, queen to b4, queen to b3, queen takes queen, bishop takes queen, and we have reached the endgame. And for the endgame, white king is much better placed on e2 than on g1. White is now threatening rook to d7. So, Karyakin played knight to b8. If rook from f to d8, then rook to d7. So we have knight to b8, preventing rook to d7, but the knight is now underdeveloped. White stands better. g4. Intending g5, h6, h4, g6, g5, h takes on g5, h takes on g5, bishop to e7. A bishop to g7, white may play, knight to h4, or even rook to b5. Back to our game. Bishop to e7, rook to e5, attacking the bishop, Knight to c6, defending and attacking. What is the best square for the white rook? What would you do? Instead of moving the attacked rook, do the play this amazing move. Rook to d7, bishop to d8. Let's take it back. If knight takes on e5, then knight takes on e5, and after black plays the obvious, Knight may take on g6 or even on f7. If rook takes on f7, rook takes rook, king to h8, rook takes on b7, and white stands much better. Back to our game. Bishop to d8 was played, rook to b5, knight to a5, white to move. Bishop to d5 was played. There was another Good move available to white in this position, and that is rook takes bishop. And after rook takes rook, rook takes knight. Back to our game. Bishop to d5 was played, rook to c7 fighting for the 7th rank. White to move, how would you continue now? Do the played bishop takes on f7 check, king to g7. If rook takes on f7, rook takes on d8. King to g7 was played. 
Rook takes rook, bishop takes rook. White played the move and black resigned and the move is bishop to d5. Karyakin resigned. For the entertainment purpose I will show you just one line. Bishop to b6, bishop to e4. Knight to c4, rook to d5 intending rook to d7. If rook to d8, but let's see what happens if rook to f7. Then knight to h4 and how to defend the pawn on g6. If rook to d8, then rook takes rook, bishop takes rook, bishop takes on b7. And with the two extra pawns, white is easily winning in the endgame. I guess we can stop here. Congratulations to Duda on winning the FIDE World Cup 2021. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.